Hello, um, this is the third part to the last search of Casa Mind and the Tura trip report that I had, um, recorded the other parts earlier to, uh, at this moment I'm finding myself in a bit of sort of delirious wonder, um, I do foremost feel that I have found myself in the wonderland, if you'd like to call it that, um, with the Lysergic like Acid of Mind, I am seeing definitely a kaleidoscopic uh, patterning, but with um, the, the combination of Detura and Toxica, the, uh, the effects have um, definitely up, uprooted itself in my uh, mental state of mind. My body has become heavy, so as my eyelids, my lips as I speak, and um, my headspace even is heavy. It used to be a light-headed feeling from the lysergic acid of mind, but at this time, I believe that the Terra has changed it over to a heavy airspace. Um, in, in my experience right now, in retrospect, I believe that using Tura with lysergic acid has helped the um, the trip uh, expand in in all genre and ways that things are appearing to me differently than they had before. Um, out of the left, I seen what I thought to be my mother's, uh, but her translucent figure was there, and I had asked her. How long has it been since she's been standing there? And she said, nothing, no words, no. It was just a blank stare, and you know, she was translucent, she was a figure, and I knew in the back of my head that she wasn't real. But for some reason, I still found myself asking her the question of how long she's been standing there. And um, I really don't know uh, why Detura makes people do strange things like that. Um, maybe it's the uh, the state, the mental state of unclarity, the the fogginess of it that really takes hold. But um, I wish I could really figure it out. Though I really wish that uh, Detura wouldn't have such negative uh, effects like that, where you find yourself asking or talking to people who really aren't there. That's the only problem I find with, uh, well, besides a, uh, the, the fact that it's toxic and it, at a high dose, can kill you. So I would advise uh, precautions to be taken if anybody's interested in even trying to use it. And that's the word, trying to use it, because there's really no way to use Detura to be a safe and um, a... Uh, a safe manner um, because of its effects are so um, debilitating and really I find myself not in much of a uh, stupor as a lot of people recall or interpret themselves to be in. I find myself more in a uh, um, in a mindset that is far most um, unordinary to the normal reality, obviously, and contrary to the state of what I just said, um, I am also uh, obligated to inform you that uh, the effects are, however, um, confusing very confusing, uh, would be just it in a nutshell, you know, it's, it's a very strange kind of experience that, uh, affiliates itself with using Deterra, and at that, the, the visual standards are just different than um, what people would 
I've ever heard of people comparing it to diphedramine, hydrochloride, benadryl, like uh, dramamine tripping, but I don't compare Datura to that at all. I feel as if it's more of a natural necessity, that it's, well, not a necessity, that it's a natural um, remnant that's there, a natural remedy that you can use uh, to not have to worry about using Benadryl. Um, I mean, yeah, I've done it, I've tripped on Benadryl, but in my experience, I would rather do a Datura trip where it seems a little bit more profound in any other way. It seems a little bit more um, like in touch with a sort of euphoric effect or it, it's more in touch with nature slightly, you know, considering that it grows uh, and it's the devil's trumpet. Um, at that, if you consider that it's the devil's trumpet uh, or Jimson weed, um, its toxic properties really aren't what makes it um, renowned. A lot of people are afraid to take it because of its toxic properties. I am not because you have to know that it's um, it's just a trip and it's, it's all about the amount in question that you use and the amount in question that you use with the turtle can vary anywhere from like uh, four to five leaves to even one. <laughs> one. Um, today in the brew I uh, cut up seven leaves. Seven leaves and that's it. No more, no less. Uh, and combined it with um, the morning glory plant that was cut up and brewed. Uh, at that, I would uh, expect it to be more of um, mind altering and this dramatic change that I felt within the last hour has been from euphoric ups and downs to all around. I mean, confusion and utter stupidity, and there's been parts of laughing at nothing, no reason. Um, and there have been, you know, moments that I've felt very, uh, empathy, you know, a lot of empathy towards my, uh, actions that I've done in the past as to what I want to do in the future. But as of now, um, I believe that the Deterra has taken hold of this trip and it's turning it into a rather dark experience, um, considering that um, seeing insects crawling that really aren't there. So far, uh, I've been seeing that very frequently, or the key, the keyboard moving very strangely, and my thoughts in airspace of headspace has just changed into a delirious blunder of um, a very obscure. Uh, sort of wonder, like, um, you just try to understand, I guess, what it is, you know, and you can never really understand it delirient in any fashion or way, just for what it is itself as a delirium, it's just too strange to try and understand. But even as you try to, that's when the major effects kick in and the delirious blunder effects uh, take on in your perception of reality, turn into a um, obscure outlook look on uh, reality turns to fantasy. Uh, very fictitious amongst that being um, the uh, sight of seeing and being there, you're not really there at all. Um, it's all a subconscious state. And even at this, um, I'll probably look at this in the morning and fi figure, you know, how, you know, half of the stuff I probably won't even remember I would have said in these interviews. And 
that's why the uh, the action itself has taken hold. And this um, this trip report is getting rather long and extensive, so uh, I'm going to end it. But I'm just gonna put a disclaimer out there. This is the last part of the video. The disclaimer of using Datura, especially with a psych another psychoactive substance, use extreme caution and be aware that Datura is a toxic plant and that it has toxic properties that at used at a high dose you will overdose and it can kill you. So be be well aware of that and the amount that you're using if you ever decide to use this plant. And at that I will stop this trip report and get along with my life.